Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Wednesday, June 2nd in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Two investment firms seeking to acquire Extended Stay America have increased their offer Tuesday morning following criticism that their bid for the hotel chain was too low, writes hospitality reporter Cameron Spirance. Blackstone and Starwood Capital stated they would raise their offer from $19.50 per share to $20.50 per share. The announcement comes a week before shareholders decide whether to authorize the acquisition, which is slated to cost around $6 billion. While extended stay leaders initially believed that $19.50 per share was a fair price for the takeover, two advisory firms recommended the deal not be approved. Furthermore, two board members from an extended stay subsidiary voiced opposition to the deal due to what they viewed as too low of an offer, especially as travel stocks are poised to rebound. However, an executive from Blackstone expressed optimism that the transaction could be completed in mid-June. Next, despite the recent increase in leisure bookings, not every airline has experienced a recovery yet, writes airline reporter Edward Russell. The struggles experienced by Swiss international airlines illustrate how a lack of domestic flights can complicate recovery. The carrier will fly roughly half of 2019 capacity during July and August, a substantial increase from less than 30% in May, but well below its rivals in Australia, China, and the U.S. Swiss's challenges reflect those of other airlines lacking an extensive domestic market. Virtually none of its system capacity in 2019 was devoted to domestic flights, as the airline was essentially dependent on business travel prior to the pandemic. That puts Swiss behind the eight ball regarding a recovery that prioritizes domestic leisure and visiting friends and relatives' travel. Swiss's peers in Europe are facing similar challenges. The International Air Transport Association foresees passenger traffic in Western Europe recovering slower than in other regions with large domestic markets, largely to the area's dependence on international flights within the EU and from long-haul points. While Swiss has seen a rise in summer bookings to cities along the Mediterranean as well as certain long-haul destinations like the UAE and US, the airline is still proceeding cautiously in regards to a recovery that's expected to last another two years. Despite announcing six new routes for the summer, the carrier announced in May that it would be making staff and fleet cuts. Finally, another hotel company has unveiled plans to gain a foothold in the luxury sector, Cameron Spirits reports. Wyndham is announcing Tuesday that it is launching Registry Collection Hotels, a brand geared toward luxury hotel owners. The company's executives have decided to focus on the Caribbean and Latin America from the outset, as the brand's first hotel is the Grand Residences Riviera Cancun in Mexico. Vice President of Operations Leonardo Denise told Skift that the company will add resorts to its luxury sector in the short term. Wyndham intends to have between 20 and 25 properties in its collection within the next five years. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com daily. Spoken Layer. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.